Hello and welcome to the first video in the My First Variable video series. This one will be focused on the basics. I know we're all very keen to go and create, manage, edit and publish our variables, but we need to understand the fundamentals before we can do so. The first thing to understand is the four different variable types that we support. The first one is color. As you can imagine, this can be used in a flat color or the color of your shadow or effect. The next one is a string variable. This is basically a text field. So if you have a form and maybe in that form you have an email address placeholder, you might want to manage the content for that in a variable. Alternatively, you might want to translate that field into English, French, Spanish, which can also be managed via a variable. The next one is a number variable. And this one goes into any number field. For example, the border radius, or if you want to set a minimum width on your card component, you can manage that with a number variable too, or the spacing in your auto layout settings, all managed via numbers. The next one is the Boolean, and this is a visibility toggle. So if you want to show or hide something, you might do that with a Boolean variable. For example, a mobile menu with a hamburger icon, you probably don't want that icon on desktop. So you can hide that on desktop and show it on mobile using the Boolean variable. The next thing to understand is a collection. And this is effectively a big group of all the variables that have a similar intention. The way that I look at this is that I would split them by their intention as I mentioned. So a colors collection or a sizes collection might make sense. If you do manage translations, I'd keep those in their own collection. If you're managing multiple brands or products, they might each get their own collection as well. So a single color collection might end up being many. This will become clearer as you start to play around. Within the collection, we have our variables, and those variables have values. We store the values of those in what we call a mode. For example, a text body variable might have a dark gray hex value, which we store in the mode. This is no different to how you would create a color style, but modes can become really powerful when we have more than one. For example, we might have a day mode and night mode, in which case the text body variable can have a dark gray on day mode and a light gray on night mode. As you can imagine, the more variables we create, the easier it becomes to create a multiple brand, multiple theme design system. Previously, we would need to support multiple styles to achieve this. For example, a day mode style and a night mode style. They now get consolidated into a single variable with multiple modes and therefore multiple values. This can become even more powerful when we start to use aliasing. Aliasing is where you use one variable as the value of another. So taking the text body example again, the day mode might use a variable called gray 800 as its value and gray 100 as its value in night mode. These can be stored in the same file or even a different file if you want to split up your collections and variables for their different intentions. This will become much clearer as well as we start to go through. That's it for the basics. I'll see you in the next video.